Hello and welcome back to our annual meeting here in Salt Lake City. This is Alec TV and I'm your host, Matt Fisher. Joining me now from the Institute for Justice is Jamie Cavanaugh. Jamie, welcome to Alec TV. How's it going today? Thanks, Matt. It's going really well. Great. So what brings the Institute for Justice here to our annual meeting and what brings you here today? Well, the Institute for Justice is here to meet with legislators and talk about our policy positions. Um, the Institute for Justice is mainly a litigation firm, but we also do a lot of legislative work. So we have a whole legislative team that works on everything from cottage food bills to cosmetology bills, um, occupational licensing bills, and um, educational choice bills. Mm -hmm. So there's a range of topics that we work on, and we work directly with legislators to craft custom solutions that work in their states. That's perfect for a place like Alec with so many states represented here today. So what's a major topic of interest that, at least for the, Institute for, for the Institute for Justice and for yourself, what's a certain topic or issue that's important to you here at this conference to emphasize? So I um, authored a report last summer on certificate of need laws and especially about what states did in response to the pandemic with certificate of need laws. So briefly, certificate of need laws are laws that restrict the growth of healthcare. They either prevent entrepreneurs from opening new healthcare facilities and they prevent existing healthcare facilities from growing. And so this really is a problem for patients. Um, patients don't necessarily understand that these laws burden them, but they make the laws make healthcare more expensive, they decrease access to healthcare, and they decrease the quality of the healthcare that patients are receiving. And so in this past session, we've seen big changes in Tennessee and in Montana, but we're still pushing really hard for changes in states like South Carolina, Alaska, and other places. And we're hoping even more states will continue to look to repealing and reforming their certificate of need programs. Absolutely. I know healthcare costs in rural areas especially can be astronomically high when the only area to get care is an emergency room or a hospital. So what are some of the ideas or proposals that legislators can take from the Institute for Justice and yourself. What are some of the ideas that we can begin to solve this issue of health care costs and accessibility? What are some of the reform ideas out there? So, um, you know, the gold standard is repealing the entire certificate of need program in a state. If that doesn't seem politically possible, then the next level is just looking at certain certificate of need um, requirements and trying to repeal some of those. So saying maybe no certificate of needs for hospitals or you know for certain services, just picking off a few. Mm -hmm. um, and then after that, we would look to saying maybe having a dollar threshold and so saying a certificate of need doesn't apply for anything under $10 million or $20 million. So that would allow um, new healthcare facilities or existing facilities to do a lot without needing a certificate of need. Um, so streamlining bureaucracy, reducing the number of regulations essentially, or uh, it, helping make it more accessible for all? Exactly. Um, another thing, another problem with certificate of need laws is that when someone applies for a certificate of need, their competitors can come in and try to um, object to their applications and the wow. direct competitors will say, we already have the market covered and they'll also say a new competitor would hurt us and would hurt our bottom line by taking patients away from us. Um, right, which is incredible that that's something that happens. You can't have competition, right. you can't lower prices. Exactly. Wow. Um, and so one thing, another thing states can do is just remove the competitor's veto from the process. Just take that out and let the states at, at least consider whether or not a new service should be added without hearing from the competition. That's incredible. So effectively, more options for consumers, more options for patients, and ultimately more competition to bring down costs. To bring down costs and to increase innovation. We've seen in a lot of states where um, you know, some of the services lag behind because there's no push to do better and increase innovation. So for those who want to get involved in helping address these issues for the Institute of Justice and more, what can they do to help move the ball downfield, help to address these problems? What are some things that our listeners at home and across America can do? Um, the most important thing um, right now is to talk to your legislators about this issue. Tell them it's important to you. Um, there's a big disconnect between patients understanding how certificate of need laws affect them and um, that's something we want to educate people around the country about. So just spreading the word about what certificate of need laws are and how they harm you know, everyone in the system, in the healthcare system, which we all use. Right. Um, so that's a big part of it is making consumers understand that these laws are really restricting their access and 
causing them to pay higher prices for health care. There's a much better alternative that can be pursued at the end. Right, and we know because there's, um, there's states in the country, four out of ten Americans live in states without certificate of need laws. So we have a direct comparison of how much better it is in states without certificate of need laws. The results are in, and it's better without. Absolutely. Awesome. Jamie, thank you so much for joining us on Alec TV. It's been a pleasure. Thank you, Matt. And thank you to our viewers on Alec TV. Be sure to stay tuned for more from content from our annual meeting here in Salt Lake City.